It can be so frustrating to listen to those heavy and hard log drum and chun denga ma piano song, but when compared to your beat, the log drum sound weak. Don't worry, I got you covered. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create those insane log drum pattern and how to mix them so they can hit harder. But first, let's create some fire drums and melody. Tempo is gonna be 112. And I might use sample from Afrobeat mini stash first. Let me find a shaker. I think I'm gonna go with this one. And then the next thing is gonna be to find some nice drum. I think we can go to the Afrobeat as about the volume two and then go to Suka. As we take the first kick we find. And then go to Perk. Start with this one. Let's get this one too. And then, then. Okay, let's go with this one instead. For the kick, we go fill each four steps. And then we go. Let's see if we can find something else to add with this one right here. Maybe we go to the Afrobeat of Bondo Volume 1 and then Kaza and Perk. Maybe let's use this one. Is this the same thing over and over? Nice. Now we are going to add a bass. Uh, normally, when you add your bass, it brings vibe and then can guide you to create the other instruments. Let me go with pure. Let's see if, what we can find. Okay, let's record this real quick. Nice. This should be next plugin is gonna be GMS. I am gonna use only stock plugin for this tutorial and maybe purity. We'll see this preset right here. As we got that, I think that can be our main melody. Okay, let's see. Our cue we can quest at this one. Accept. And then this one gonna be longer. That's fire. Let's clone GMS again and try to find another um lead. Uh, let's try chopper. Now let's try to complete the melody by using purity. First thing is gonna be using the uh, slow synth. Let's use Sona for this tutorial. I think I'm gonna go with this right here. And one down like that. I'm gonna clone it. And the next thing is gonna be maybe using the echo drop. I'll cue you can type. Now we are going to the second part where we create the log drum pattern. On both first, let's add some transition. I think let's go to the Afrobeat mini stash. And also, I have this crash that I created. 
sound fire so let's go with the fx first and also i'ma add this squash right here so we can have but we change this one um we created a unique pattern and then we are going to remove the pure base and then let's find a log drum in the alphabet showboard of volume 2 let's go to suka and let's go to log i'm gonna use a basic log vibe i think i'm gonna use this one and also i will load let's use this this is a basic log drum Let's do this one right here. Go to the thing. And then we duplicate it. okay so let's see for the log jump we have we have this our log jump pattern that sound like You can see how weak the log drum sound right now, but let's make it sound a little bit more interesting. We will add it to a mixer track. Let's so add this one right here. And then the plugin, the secret plugin is gonna be using some distortion. I'm gonna use the wave shaper. Sorry. Then you can go to distortion, you select the preset. Let's use the fast distortion. We play everything let's say so simple like that guys if you don't have this distortion you will see that everything sounds so weak like but when you add this And now we combine it with this one. So this one will write it to a, the same channel. And now we are going to make the beat sound even much more interesting. So we are going to create a part right here that's gonna make the log drum sound very crazy. And this is gonna be a pattern by itself. And let's go and select some um, effect. First of all, I am going to use uh, a crash let's use this one we'll have this right here okay um i am going to also use some um fx right here let's go to Kaza, then let me use it. 
let's use this one but we are going to reverse it and then we we'll put it just right here and now we are creating this crazy log drum that's gonna be like a transition and to do And then do 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 do. I think that's nice. And now we can do some not panning, like. Okay, now we we can add this and the vibe and then. And then we go to the panning again. And then. Mm. I think I want to add some of the melody. I think I can use this one, this one right here and we put it in pattern three. So we don't have anything doubled and we have this shot. That's fire. Now let me show you with the effect and then without the effect. So basically the log drum, you always need to add some distortion. You can use the flute you will shipper, you can use the camera crusher, you can use any other distortion plugin that you have hands on. So without it. Sound good, but it's not good enough. But now If I try to exaggerate the effect, it's gonna be crazy. Now, I think that is the sweet spot for this bit right here. If I just crank it. I think it's too much. Yeah, that's it guys. I think it is a very nice vibe. Normally when you're doing your Amapiano, piano, don't overthink it. Just vibe on the beat. Try to find little stuff that can bring um, vibe to your instrumental. Normally, those effects play a role very important in Amapiano. piano. I created this crash and this effect uh, last night. So this sound very crazy and I will create more effects for Ama Piano so that you can use them to create those trending Ama Piano vibe. For example, we have this one. By the way, the Afro Bedouin is actually gonna be out very soon. Stay tuned for that, guys. So now I'ma let you enjoy the vibe we create.
that's it thanks for watching i hope this video helped you get better at create a map piano instrumental if you have questions please leave a comment down below see you in the next one